Hi, this is Nick Williford and Manos Berlakis presenting case 199 for the manual of percutaneous coronary interventions. This is a case of a patient who had an aortocoronary dissection of the right coronary artery. The patient was a woman who had a, a attempt for PCI of the right coronary artery. There was an aortocoronary dissection and inability to deliver a stent to the mid-right coronary artery with persistent symptoms. She therefore came for a repeat attempt. This is the angiogram when she presented. We still have some residual aortocoronary dissection on the proximal right coronary artery, and there is diffuse disease with calcification in the mid-right coronary artery. There was difficulty with engagement and poor support with the guide catheter. Eventually, a guide catheter called 3 d Ride, which provides strong support for RCA interventions through contact with the opposite aortic wall, was able to engage the right coronary artery, and this guide can provide strong support similar to that provided by the ambulance. And after doing that, we were able to deliver a balloon down to the mid-RCA, we performed intravascular ultrasound that uh, demonstrated some stent under expansion, but the IVUS could not go to the distal part where there was um, the lesion. Next step was deliver a guide extension using the inchworming technique. First of all, the previous stents were postulated, and then uh, through the inchworming technique, uh, a guide liner was advanced to the mid right coronary artery. So now we have the combination of the 3D ride, so strong support, along with the guide extension. There was some dissection caused by the predilatation. This was covered by a long drag eluting stand, overlapped more proximally with another drag eluting stand, and then we wanted to ensure that we cover the ostium, so we placed the stand protruding about a couple millimeters inside the aorta. One way to facilitate re-engagement after we place an aorto-osteal stand is to use the osteal flush balloon, which has two balloons. One is a standard non-compliant balloon, and then has a larger balloon that can be used to flare the ostium, and in this case, not only facilitate re-engagement, but also potentially seal the aorto-coronary dissection. And this is the final picture. There's still a small amount of... Uh, um, dissection on the ostium of the right coronary artery, but overall we have a nice result with Timothy flow on the right coronary. A few lessons from this case. The first one is that if we have an aortocoronary dissection, contrast injection should be avoided. If you have to visualize, then one way is to use a guide extension, engage deeply into the coronary artery and inject through that, or use a thrombectomy catheter and inject through the over-the-wire lumen of the thrombectomy catheter. To prevent the aortocoronary dissection from extending and potentially causing more significant aortic dissection, it is important to stent the vessel ostium and also use intravascular ultrasound to confirm that the stent truly protrudes into the aorta. And finally, for aortocoronary standing, the osteal flush balloon can be very useful in flaring the stent struts, covering nicely the ostium, but also facilitating re-engagement of the coronary artery. Thank you.